Hey there. So I've had numerous questions about making your payment online and verifying your identity. So I'm going to walk through this um, just to have this information for the future. So if you're on irs.gov forward slash payments and you're trying to make your payment for the current tax year, um, it is now March of 2022. And so um, you are paying, say, you have a balance due for the 2021 tax year um, for which you have just filed your tax return. And so they want you to verify your identity. So um, say you're using the pay now with direct pay. I'm not going to um, do an example out of the digital card because there's fees that apply. So we'll just go right into pay now with direct pay from a bank account. No fees. So you go to direct pay with bank account. Make sure that you are reading this information that the IRS wants you to read. Um, oops, I just hit something crazy. Um, and then click on make a payment. There again, is lots of good information down here for you to read about your payment and making a payment. But click here to make your payment. And it's going to ask you like, what are you trying to do? And your reason is to pay a balance due or whatever your actual reason is. And then it's for your income tax 1040 form. It could be one of these, but if you're working with me, it's tax preparation. It's for your income tax, um, your individual income tax return. And then you're going to select a tax period for payment. So it is March of 2022. We're filing taxes for the 2021 tax year. And so you could be paying for the 2021 tax year. So you click that. And then when you can um, continue, they want you to confirm that you are paying a balance due. It is for your personal income tax form 1040, and it's for the 2021 tax year. Is that correct? You're going to say, yes, that is correct. This next screen is where most of you are having problems, step two of five, and it is verifying your identity. So what the IRS wants you to do is verify that you are who you say you are. And they're going to ask you to do that by having you fill in all of the information that they have on file. And they want you to fill in all of the same information from one tax year. And so... Um, different tax years, you may have moved, you may have had different filing statuses. And so they want you to pick the one tax year that you're going to use to um, verify your information. So again, we're making a payment for the 2021 tax year. And if you'll notice, the 2021 tax year is not in here. And that's more than likely because they've received your tax return. They're in the process of um, they're in the process of processing it, but they've not had it finalized so that you can verify your identity from it, which means that you have to use a previous tax year. So that means you have to go, you have to find your 2020 or your 2019 or your 2018 tax return so that the information that you put in matches the tax year that you are verifying. So put in 2020, that means you're in front of you, you have your 2020 tax return and you are putting in your filing status and your name and your social security number, date of birth, and most importantly, your street address from the 2020 tax year, okay? So if you amended your return and you're like not sure if it, it's the, um, the original return or the amended return, 
don't pick that tax year for verification. Go ahead and pick a tax year where you're sure of the information. You didn't file an amended return. You know that the information is the information. That way, when you put in all the information it's requesting, it is going to verify. All right, so that's it for today. Um, hopefully that answers your question. This is Lori Johnson from Mobile Tax Pro and have a good one.